are you, man? Good, Marco. Nice Marco, to meet you. Marco, I'm Jackson. Good to meet you, man. Come on in, man, please. I'm Amy. Amy, I'm Jackson. Good nice to meet you. you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, tell me. Tell me about your cat troubles. You could not have come at a better time. Just last night, we had to take Monty to the emergency room. Get uh, out of here. Yeah, he had recently eaten a towel. He stopped eating and stopped drinking. And Saturday and Sunday, every time he went to the water bowl, he would drink water, walk out into the living room, and throw up. Oh, wow. So it sounds like the towel he ate didn't pass through his system. So what did the vet do? They did an x-ray that was inconclusive, and they gave him fluids, and he pepped up. Is he here? He is here, Oh, yes. he came home. He came home. Good. He came good, home good, last great. night. He still hasn't used the litter box. Yikes. Um, the towel that Monty ate is still in his system, and Amy and Marco were just waiting for him to expel it somehow, poop it out or throw it up. And if that doesn't happen, then the towel can be wrapped up inside his intestines, and that could be a life or death situation that requires surgery. So we need to be ready to take him back to the vet at a moment's notice. So, Have you ever seen anything like this before? Yeah, if it is what I'm thinking it is, it's pica. Now, pica simply means eating non-food items, but that's deceiving. It is a really complex behavior pattern. Obsessive compulsive, sure, but it baffles vets, it baffles behaviorists, it baffles everybody. There is no single reason why cats will target certain items to obsessively chew. And unfortunately, the cause is as elusive as the cure. Is there anything you can think of that triggered his last chew session? Every weekend, I run with a car club. Do you really? You race cars too? Cool. Yeah. And we were both out we of town. We left town. That's right. what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, I don't know whether Monty's acting out because of separation anxiety or whether separation anxiety is triggering an underlying condition like pica. All I know is I've got a lot left to learn. Have you gotten to that point where you're just not living a normal life because you're putting stuff away? I'll answer that. Well, wait a minute. It's really difficult. We get in a lot of arguments. I'm an adult, and I don't like when my husband tells me to put my stuff away. It makes me feel like I'm living at home with my dad again. Do you give a lot of grief about the stuff? I give her tons yeah. of grief. What's going to happen when Monty dies? It's going to be my fault, and Marco will never be able to look at me the same again. It scares me a lot. Now, this problem is not just affecting Monty. You can feel the tension between Marco and Amy. Amy's living in fear and guilt of what could happen to Monty. And in the meantime, Marco seems completely unsympathetic to all that Amy's going through. OK. Oh, wow, it doesn't take long, man. Look at that. Yeah. Holy This is whoa. just part of his handiwork. This is the thing that made him so sick? Nasty. Yeah. You can see that he's he's really worked through wow. almost, every, wow. almost every single corner. Holy. Now, I was expecting to see the towel that Monty chewed on. I didn't think it was going to be towels, plural. It's just a matter of time. This cat's going to kill himself. Hey, buddy. Oh. There's our boy. Come here, bud. Normally, with new people, he doesn't want to run away. He wants to come up and kind of rub and right. sniff. Monty is clearly feeling pretty lousy, and it worries me that he's not eating or drinking because that's how he would push that towel through his system. I'm going to do my best to tempt him with some food, but if he refuses it, action will have to be taken. Mm, so that's fishy. Ooh. Well, yes, it yes. is. <laughs> he's like, I want some Look of at everything. how he's licking his lips. I love <laughs> it, man. Please eat for me. Go for that, buddy. Come on, bud. It's OK. It's OK. He wants it. Try it out, bunny. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here. It's OK, Bubba. It's OK. Now, I just saw Monty salivate over food and then walk away from it. He's hungry, but he can't eat. That's bad news. So, huh. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm worried that the towel might be in him right now. We got to get him to the vet again. That way, you guys can also get a blood test. So if there are meds we can put him on, he'll be ready for meds, OK? Of course, you guys are going to check in with me later. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. In the case of a cat with potential intestinal blockage, I can't even assign homework until I know that he's out of danger. Then once he's out of the woods, a simple blood test will determine if it's a nutritional deficiency that's causing him to chew. Now, if it's not, we'll know that it's indeed pica, and then we can focus on managing it. All right, guys, well, I'm going to take off. Please make sure to call me tonight, OK? OK, well, thank you so much. Thanks. I don't want my cat to die. So we're going to take the cat to the vet tonight and see if he's feeling better. If it turns out to be pica and it's a forever issue, we're going to learn to live with it and work around Monty's issue. Simple. Thinking about having to deal with this for the next 20 something years is absolutely exhausting to me. And I'm not sure that I'll be able to do it.
I'm out in front of Marco and Amy's house for my last visit with them and their cat, Monty. Now, I saw their video homework, and I noticed that Monty was interested in his new fish and chewing the edible plants I left. You like the mint, buddy? Good boy. I also saw Marco and Amy changing up their routine when leaving the house. What shall I leave out today when I go to work? Maybe this catnip toy. Hopefully today I'm going to walk in here and the two of them are on the same page and that means that Monty's energy is much more focused on doing the positive things and not on chewing. But that's a long shot, I'm hoping here. Hey, Marco. How are you, Jackson? I'm great, man. How are you doing? Good. Welcome back. Thank you, man. Now listen, I got to ask you right off the bat, since the last time I was here, hey, is Monty okay? We're doing great. No hospital, no chewing, nope. no nothing. Huh? Oh, yay! <laughs> I've had this cat five years now. I've never had that. Ah, that's music to my ears yeah. right there. The thing that Jackson gave us that was the most helpful was to avoid routine so that Monty is always thinking about that instead of chewing on things. So now it's just all good Monty all the time. Where is he today? Behind the table. Now here's the thing. Each time I've come here, I've seen a cat not well at all. Right. Not social at all. I need to see him out here playing. If I could just get him out here, I know we've gotten somewhere, OK? Now, the last time I was here, I couldn't get Monty out from under the bed with play. I had to lure him out with food. Now, today, I want to see that he's a confident cat. That means he's following the toy out on his own. Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. Let's not do this again. Come on, buddy. I got to see him playing. It tells me this cat is the happy, healthy cat I want him to be. Come on. Come on. What is it? Good boy! <laughs> Yay! Good boy. This is a cat that we were digging out from under the bed a couple weeks ago. This <laughs> level of focus from him right now means he's not going to chew. Finally, it happens. Monty focuses on the laser, and he goes for it. I mean, with a vengeance. That's all I was waiting for, a chance to see Monty free from the obsessive anxiety he suffers from and playing with reckless abandon. I didn't realize that our dynamic affected the cat so much and that the stress between us trickled down. I know how much you love Monty. Cat's got pica. Accidents happen, and it's not ever your fault. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you, too. Working with cats and people. Well, here's Behavior the funny part. Therapy. It is all tied together. That being said, I feel like I'm done. We're in a really good place with Monty right now. I have the tools that I need to feel confident that I'm not going to kill this poor cat. Goodbye, Monty. Goodbye, Marco. <laughs> see and you later, goodbye, Jackson. Amy. Bye. Take care, right? Jackson's given Monty a greater shot at living longer. Obviously, Pika, there is no cure for something like that. But he's given us the tools we need to help give Monty the quality of life that he deserves. He's such an awesome little cat.